I think what John and Jonathan have done so well with uh, this iteration of Dungeons and Dragons is that, at least for me, being an 80s baby, it reminds me of all the great, wonderful qualities of, of 80s films. It's, uh, it has a bit of The Princess Bride. It has uh, a bit of Goonies. It manages to, to wrap up all of these different tones and colors into one uh, really joyful film. And it, it is about, uh, um, it's a classic hero's journey, hero quest, uh, about a bunch of misfits that are trying to do better and be better. Edgen Darvis is a little bit different than the characters I've played before in the sense that he is undeniably an optimist. He will make the best out of any situation. And I guess um, from the definitions of from the Dungeons and Dragons game, the bard is the inspirer. He is the he or she is the the one that inspires hope and courage and people to do their best. Reggae is, uh, was such a pleasure to work with. He's, he's so handsome and so tall. Uh, and uh, um, he's just in on the joke. He's a very sharp dude. He was um, f assuredly a very prepared actor and man when he comes to set. You could just see the tactician in him changing an ending or adding a word or, you know, pumping up the volume on a certain beat, taking it down. It was like an acting class. Everybody has a really, really different energy, um, which I think works very, very well for um, uh, uh, a story about um, a group of misfits. So it makes sense that, you know, Sophia is very, very quiet and very um, uh, introverted and... Uh, like I said, justice is um, fun and easy and facile in the moment. And reggae is very serious. Michelle's very bright, and I can be all sorts of things, very mercurial. So uh, I, th I really was surprised about how beautifully uh, John and Jonathan had uh, composed this, this symphony of people. The thing about Egan, which I, again, I love characters that are. Um, really not heroic. They're just very normal, and they can be very, very scared, just like everybody else. And I like that about Egan is that he's really, you know, he's got a fair dose of being absolutely terrified by things. And um, he can be a big baby and selfish and um, rude and, uh, but he's, you know, he's trying. I would say three quarters of this film or more is action and running and jumping and crashing and bashing and being blown back. And so there is plenty of visual eye candy in this film, uh, no doubt. And if that is your bag, you're gonna have, I think you'll have a lot of fun.